Hello and welcome back to another episode of Survey Questions Adventurers on their experiences as adventurers. The name is a work in progress. Today we will be interviewing none other than the once high sorcerer Baradun of Baradun and the Dickheads. Put him away! Major image. Let's welcome him in. And here he is. Welcome, Baradun. Survey. It's wonderful to see you. Again. Nice to see you again. We haven't seen each other since the the ethereal party. Yes, of course. <laughs> but let's not talk about that. I know you were you were a little bit well, wasted. I mean, that night. I was, there was the uh, god of drink there. Oh, yes, and the ethereal chicks. <laughs> So, uh, of course, as your uh, participation in this questionnaire sort of survey situation... Oh, survey. Survey. That's my name. That's your name? I just put those together now. Mm, Nice. Fantastic. Anyway, as part of your participation, you'll be entered into a prize draw, and then you'll be sent back to uh, the exact moment you came from, with no recollection of uh, what went on here. Oh, no, I'll remember. You probably will. Um, So, give me your honest answers, or I'll boil the blood in your veins. So, uh, firstly, tell me about your adventuring party and your opinion of them. Baradun and the Dickheads? Yes, Baradun and the Dickheads. Yes, no, thank you very much for using the correct term for the adventuring party. I do appreciate that. Oh, you know, the name kind of encapsulates it all. There is me, Baradun, and three Dickheads. So about Bodger, for instance. Well, he's a bit of a meathead, really. That's to, to put it lightly. What, is, what does he offer? Does he... I mean, brute strength is about it. There's nothing. There's sometimes you're talking, it goes in one ear and out the other. Do you know what I've realised about what? Those, those frogs? What? what? Uh? They are little thieves. Yes, Bodger. That's the second time this has happened. You know well what done, Bodger. Bodger. <gasps> you're a bit of an idiot. What about Greg? What does he bring to the team? Well, Greg's a funny one. I I don't understand why he's out adventuring. He he is a lowly garlic farmer, and here he is tinkering on screwdrivers and making them smell funny. What about Greg's worth as a fellow spellcaster? <laughs> I can barely, you are good at jokes. I can even you do are good at jokes. <laughs> oh even. goodness, survey. That'd be much appreciated. Oh, oh. Yes. Greg, that was the healing. Ah! Oh. It's empty. I'm so f- with you right now, Greg. How about Bob? Well, he is a fun one, actually. Bob is a crazy, crazy man, and he will do some crazy, crazy shit. Yes. Yes, well, I, I, do, I do enjoy his ability to really get into a battle. I mean, he calls himself as a rogue, but he just gets in there. He gets right in he, there. Uh, like, he sometimes gets in there. And then you climbed inside, like, I climbed inside. inside. What are you doing? We're and gonna I explode the inside out. Let's do this, puppy dog. <laughs> Oh, I'm a giant, you know, giant. So, what does it feel like to be the most powerful child ever known, to become the most powerful high sorcerer ever known, and then almost drown in a duck pond? Ah, oh, yes, that, that, was, that was all an act, basically. I realized at that time that uh, what would be soon to be my fellow adventuring party, I needed them to think that I was humble and lowly like them, so I was, oh, right. I'm the I've noticed that you're shite. And likewise, when you got uh, captured by frogs. No. Uh, again, I see, I see all these frogs around me, they've all got nets, let's think that they've got the upper hand on me, and they go, oh no, I'm in a net, oh. I see, As I you see. may have noticed, I got out of that net pretty quickly. <laughs> yes, of course. Um, so, what does it feel like to no longer be High Sorcerer? Do you, do you miss it? What do you miss most? You know, the thing I miss most is the people doting after me. Right. I don't have people to, I used to just be able to let go of my stuff and someone would grab it for me. Right. Or I used to just literally lie in a chair and people would wash my body, which was quite nice. But now, of course, I have to do all those things myself. Your powers seem to be returning, gradually. Is there any particular power you're looking forward to uh, getting back? Oh, there is a lot. One I am looking forward to, which I haven't had the ability to do for a while, is to portal away. Why? Portal away! Still covered in the d- 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 <laughs> looking very... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Completely You all right, baby. <laughs> Not so good. Ah, <laughs> yes. So I would like that ability. That would be good. And also, there's nothing quite like looking across a distant landscape 
and bringing down a media swarm. Yes. Mm. Or a not so distant landscape, as the case may be. Yes. <laughs> Did you just see the, 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 oh, the sky opens up <laughs> and boom, 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 some four massive meteors just stream out of the sky, yeah, flaming. Of those boom! Boom! Slamming down. Not 100 of <laughs> the the last time you used that spell was uh, in the company of your good friend, Laethel. Oh, great friend. Yes. Besties, I might say. Oh, look at us, brothers of the weave. No. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. No, I'm your enemy. Ah, oh, yes. Imagine me as high sorcerer, you as other high sorcerer. That's not how it works. Mm. I'm going to kill... Oh, I Out really in the kill gardens you. of Carlebor. If I was allowed to kill you, you'd be dead in so, so much of a painful temple. way. Would you say that there are others at the Order of the Weave with whom you're close? Oh, yes. Everyone at the Order of the Weave loves me. Hey, Master yeah. Pedrick! Remember this guy? Bad at doing Bad You're in. the best guy. Okay, for the love of God, tell me, why am I your ticket home? Because if I take you back to Lyoth, they might forgive me. They all, they literally praise me there. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm besties with all of them. Do you think that your luck with people is tied to your luck with gambling, for instance? Do you have any tips for gamblers? Yes, yeah, so what you need to do when you're gambling okay, is put your money down on the table, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then they give you more money back. Right. Hmm. We're almost out of time, I'm afraid. Um, what's been your favorite adventure or quest? You know, my favorite quest with adventurers is when I get to go to the end of time and the edge of reality with them, and we have to help destroy the monster at the end of time and put an end to his schemes. And how about low level? What's your favorite low level quest? Hmm, well, I guess my favorite low-level quest would be going into a glacier and absolutely decimating a frost giant. <laughs> yes. Like, the, the, he was so tall, and all of my other teammates were like, oh, he's gonna hurt us. And here I am, just like, fireball, major image. And of course, you did most of the damage in that fight, right? I did uh, nearly all of the damage. It was yes. absolutely fantastic. Not Bodger, so Bodger. Powerful. Bodger did no. Oh, no, he was standing at his knees, just going, oh, 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 it's Bodger. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining me here. As part of your participation, you'll be entered into a prize draw. Uh, is there any particular prize you would want? You know what I've been looking for? I would like a pet talking alligator about yay big. Wonderful. I'll take that into consideration. Well, that's all the time we have with Baradun. Bye. Tune in next time as Survey questions adventurers on things that they have done in their adventures. The name is still in the works. If you're liking this campaign, go back and watch our Descent into Avernus and our Isolation Games campaign. They're just as fun. Also subscribe.